Next time you're dealing with someone who feels really, really fixed in a certain perspective or pattern of behavior, and you know that they're stubbornly stuck in that way of doing things or thinking, you know the two best questions you can ask? And you've got to ask them in a certain way and in this order. First question, out of one to 10, how likely would you be to, and then fill in the blanks, to change, to consider a new way of doing things, to shift your perspective, but here's why that, that rating is necessary from one to 10. They'll give you a number. It might be six, it might be five, it might be four, it might be two. It doesn't matter what the number is, but here's what comes next. The second question is the key. And I first learned this from a guy named Michael Pantalon. And he refers to this as motivational interviewing. After they've given that first rating, the second question is, why didn't you choose a lower number? Like, and this is a game changer. Because in that moment, the whole posture shifts. Now the person is looking for a reason for why they might change, why they might consider doing things in a new or different way or adopt a different perspective. You've flipped the focus to why they might rather than all the reasons why they may not. Even if they only gave a two or a three out of 10, there's still some reasons why they might consider changing. If you start there, you're going to be far more likely to get them to consider the true reasons for them to actually do something for their own purposes. For more tips from my latest book, Mindstuck, stay tuned.